Yeah, if I have a good start, I will go for it. I will keep a save file. So far, I haven't had on like a perfect start, just like decent starts, which I was just rolling off of. And for those starts, like if it works out, I'll continue. If it doesn't work out, oh, 1444 was the mentality that I had. But if I find a situation with perfect rivals and decent Merc stacks, I would definitely, or Merc Generals, I would definitely keep a safe out there. To summarize what I want, I'm looking for Burgundy to be rivaled by England and France. I'm also looking for Castile to rival England. And I'm also working, looking for Burgundy and Castile not to rival each other. So, that's honestly a lot of RNG for my taste, but as I said, I don't know how to play this game, so gotta make up for my lack of experience. Hmm, that's, I think that ticks all the boxes. Three siege is pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't mind a six siege, but I'll take it. So, for reference, um... For reference, this was my previous run. I had most of English Channel. I conquered like this part of Germany, had a Hussite rebel, but this rebel didn't work out the way I wanted to. It just like kept killing itself elsewhere. Um, yeah, I have southern France. Burgundy's huge. And under my PU. So I'm, I'm trying to do something similar to this. Except, I, I'm not, instead of snaking to Bohemia this time, I'm just gonna save scum until Bohemia goes Hussite, and just flip Hussite really early. But other than that, I think my conquest will be similar. It's just that I won't go this far into the into Germany at 1517. It, it was too far. I, I didn't like the situation I left myself in. Anyway, I'll keep a safe out of this, because I like this. Not bad. When I when I, I dismantled pretty quickly, like 1460 or something. Before I dismantled, I conquered three HRE provinces, which admittedly was too much, honestly. But I dismantled after these three. Yeah, that's a thing. That that's why that's why AIs are dumb. You didn't know that? So what happens is AIs when integrating vassals have territories and maybe at that time they're maxed out on GC. So they're like, "Okay, I don't need to do anything. I'm not going to state it." Well, when you reload, the GC becomes zero for a month. So then they start stating every territory that they have, thinking they're fine. Month tick happens, and now they're super over GC, and they release vassals. That's a that's that's like the problem with AIs right now. Well, one of the many problems, but that's like making the whole release vassal situation worse. Oh, 
I did the wrong one. It's not big of a that big of a deal, but I should revoke it at some point. Decent. Inflation. No trade efficiency. So we'll go for improved relations. I guess tax. to get support for independence. So I have no dip rep, so I should probably look for that. Um, so I need a couple more units. And from EC, I should do hostile trading. It's fine. Okay, uh, I have a dip rep now, so. too fast. Okay, I'll say to BRB for like 10 minutes. But so far the start is pretty good. I'm getting like a really early um, release too, so... Hopefully I can just spend like 30 minutes or something getting a good ruler after this. I don't mm. I was gonna start rerolling for a good ruler. What form goals would you go? So if tax switching was the only thing I was allowed to do. I'd um, go for the usual combo, like starting in Piedmont, um, Prussia. I'd also form France for cores on all of France. Um, 
I might even consider forming England for cores ever here too. So I'd mainly chain formables in the early game for the sake of saving modern points. Then I'd go for, oh sorry, I think Austria Prussia is the way to go or something like that. I'd go for like Austria Prussia and also start an Impian Lot. And if I'm feeling really feisty, I might do um, Mongolian culture, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, maybe. And I'd probably finish with Diviet, because Diviet provides 15% culture conversion reduction. Okay, so at this point, I should just leave a safe file here. Yeah. Sad. Mm, I'm not sure. It depends. If I'm going for like a more early game focused playstyle, which I usually do go for, I would um, more prioritize... Also, I'm gonna save here. Since I sent my diplomat here, I'd have to redo it. I'd go more for like Diviet for culture conversion early on. If I'm gonna play past 1700, then yeah. Then yeah, I'd, I'd aim for like Germany. If I'm even allowed to revoke, then life gets much easier, so... I guess it depends on all the rule sets. Bohemian missions and hungry missions do be nice. If only those are reformable. Honestly, I wish, like, all reasonably sized nations with flavor are reformable. Why don't you just play with the RNG you get because I'm worried about failing. And I'm worried that I'll realize that... I'm worried to realize <coughs> that I fail, like, after I spent 50 hours into the game. That's why I'm going for a very safe early start. I, I don't know what your what the uh, answer you were looking for though. I won't be that crazy, but yes, I'm looking for above average, maybe a bit more than above average.
Like, this is unacceptable. It's probably because I started with a really young ruler. If it starts a bit older, then it's a bit less relevant. But this sort of decides, like, my Monarch Point generation for the next 50 years. Yeah, mil can be like as low as 3. 2 might be a bit too low, but bigger than 3 I'm cool with. Admin and dip are the most important. Of course, excessive mill will not go to waste. Because I have some missions that require me to dev push a bit. Plus, rerolling, oh yeah, for the careful. That careful star was so god tier. If I had, if, if this was off stream, I might consider rerolling to a careful. But no, I think that's too much. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna, in fact, uh, the BI is basically guaranteed with the start, because you can instantly ally them. And I intend to dismantle the Empire and kill off France very quickly anyway. Reroll for Papacy. Well, if you're gonna go super ham, then you can um, keep it rolling until the HRE slash the Pope dies a couple times to advance the PU counter. And you can go for an inherit on like every nation, every small nation. So in like a month, you should be able to annex all the small monarchies. If you had like insane RNG like that. But that's, like, absurd. That is optimal gaming, for sure. Like, 50 IRL years of just constant restarts. Well, if I recall correctly, there are what, like f 5 out of 100 years for the Inherit tier. And I actually don't know how many years the Emperor and Pope dying advances it by. I think it advances by one exactly one year. But I could be totally wrong. I actually don't know PUs too well. Honestly, it might be a good exercise to jot down all the ruler stats that I'm getting. Because it's one of those things that it's hard to say. Like, I'd like to say I have shit RNG, but... I mean, I, I can... Let me start jotting it down from now. Actually, can someone jot it down, if you don't mind? Here. If you don't mind, can someone can someone uh, write it down for me? Uh, 
No, I don't consider early game safe scumming to be that over the top. The reason is I consider it in spirit similar to 1444ing because it's so early into the game. But I certainly wouldn't be rerolling like air stats, um, say at like 1500. Burgundy releases me because, I don't know, <laughs> I think it's because I have high trust, or he has high trust on me, and I'm being supported by too many strong powers. Okay, that's a 2 one, one. Thanks, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of bias for these freshly generated rulers. But then again, I have seen six stats, so it's not the usual bias that you see of like a subtract one at the end. So I actually don't know if there's any bias, but we'll see. I mean, two data points. Well, we have more than that, but I don't exactly <coughs> recall all the stats I had before, but two data points don't say much. You have seen no evidence trust has an influence. Interesting, because I have seen no evidence of mill strength being sufficient. Namely, I don't recall ever a situation where I was released aside from these starts. And these starts are unique in that Burgundy has a high trust. 223. So I think there's some sort of variable besides mill strength that doesn't apply to most subject starts, but it does apply to um, the three Dutch PUs that Burgundy starts with. Ooh, formatting, I like it. Group effort. You know, these are the times where I wish I paid attention to my stats class. Well, I claim I paid attention, but I don't really remember too much. Two, three, three. Multiple subjects, hmm. Could be. Well, actually, I don't think I'd be able to ally them, because they're PUs. Don't they have their own uh, relative strength calculation? Yeah, they should, they should be loyal. Two, four, zero. Wow, is it below average? All the way so far. All right, one sec. That's true. Are they? Are they? 
Are they disloyal? Never. I don't think they're disloyal, right? Because I'm a PU. Now, if a subject, if another vassal was getting support, that would make these guys disloyal too, but... That's a 364, not bad, honestly. So that, so that was a good stat. I could keep it, but honestly, I don't like it. The admin's too low. For sure. Honestly, I'd be down to just redo this segment a bit off stream if I don't finish today. Because I'd have to go fairly soon anyway. Two two five. <laughs> So what, so far, one, two, three, four, five, five below averages, one above average. Although, the one above average is kind of exceptional. Oh yeah, this one's the latest, so I actually have to... Uh, I probably have to remove it from my directory. One, two, three. Um, regarding the manipulating RNG, the issue is that they don't immediately release the same day. So... I wouldn't be able to really... I mean, sure, I'd, I'd, I'd advance the so-called RNG seed, but... Not in any way that'll, like... Control things in any way, like... 055. So how do the stats look so far? Is that like close to random? I don't know enough stats to say like given this particular data set whether it conforms to a particular distribution with high probability or not. I really should know this. It's quite useful. But if anyone knows, feel free to do the math. The... In theory, the distribution is a triangle. It's a sum of two uniform distributions between 0 and 4. So it's like rolling a 0 to 4 dice twice. Sorry, 0 to 3 dice. Um, and then adding them together. It, yeah, it, it's a, a very poor discretization of the bell curve. As you repeat the, as you like uh, subdivide into more uniform distributions, yeah. By central limit theorem, you'll get the bell curve. Nice. That's like the only thing I remember.
Hell, I don't even remember how the proof of the central limit theorem worked. I recall it was like clever. It was clever until you see it. It's one of those things where you see it, and you're like, oh, that's a trick. And that's easy. I feel like I haven't seen any good admin. Um, to my knowledge, the age range is literally like in the high tens. I'm not even sure if I've seen anything. I'm not sure if I've seen like a 20 year old, maybe a 20 year old happens, but it seems to like almost always consistently be young. I don't think I've ever seen any old rulers. Yeah, I guess if it's like a 50 year old ruler, I don't really care about the stats that much. I'd be cool if like 333. Hey, we match. Isn't that uh, Charles's that? I guess so far the 364 is a bit acceptable, but I, I kind of wish it had a bit more admin. Like if you swap it around and go like 463, I'd be super happy. Oh, uh, Blubber, I should, um, I'll try to remember to check the age of the ruler, just for your reference. Twenty-one, okay, so it does go above twenty. 461's my favorite so far. I wish it had a bit more mil though. One mil is a bit too low. But honestly, not that bad. Hmm. So, yeah, admin's so far really low. Probably just random luck. I'll say I take a 661, yeah. Three, two, three, eighteen years old.
Four one three twenty one. Yeah, same here as Sparta. I took one class on it a long time ago, back when I was a student. Oh, four zero. Oh, I forgot to check the age, sorry. So any fun uh, info we have on the distribution so far? Am I officially unlucky or? Oh, if only it was a 646. 245, 18. Honestly, so far, based on what I see, it's more that I'm getting like reasonable dip in mill a lot, but I'm not getting good admin, and I just happen to be prioritizing admin. So on like a simple num total points sort of um, criteria, I might not be so unlucky. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know what to say about sample size. I, I don't know stats. But sometimes I'm quite surprised how low sample sizes can be in like those national surveys. 334. Good dynasty though, 21. Oh, for people who are interested, um, some nice volunteers are keeping track of all the rerolls we've done. So those are the stats that I've gotten so far. If you're curious. Five through two. From my perspective, this is one of the best that we've gotten so far, just because of the high admin. Twenty-one years old, by the way.
Oops. Honestly, I'd be cool with like a 543. That's what Bohemia gets. That's like a reasonable distribution. But I was sort of like willing to tolerate that 532. This and early game battles are my uh, least favorite parts about RNG in this game. It's so impactful. For non-hordes, that is. For hordes, 0, zero, zero is fine. It's like, whatever. One, two, three, twenty-one. I could stop on like the 30th or something. I'd be down to go back to the 364. Bit low on the admin, but it's decent. Yeah, the the irony here is that I, I have more people than usual when I'm just doing the most boring thing ever. It's probably due to time, though. Friday night, or late night for the Europeans. Can't believe the Europeans are they're Europeans that are awake. Okay, fine. Imagine if this was like 664 though, but 18 years old. I'll take it. But I'm gonna focus admin them. For now. Bro. <laughs> That's not good. I need three more opinion on him. Oh my god, and careful. Holy crap. 